So Tanner and Simone break it off mid-season. Yep, that was awkward. Then he really starts flirting with you. Well, I don't know why he put Simone aside, but it had nothing to do with me. You actually were, your interest was piqued. Would you be offended if uh, Tanner came in here and we hooked up under you? If I was asleep, I wouldn't give a f Okay, great. I just wanna f him. I was like, you know what? I'll flirt with Tanner. I'm not gonna do anything with Tanner, but I'm working the hardest. I'm getting shit from all ends. Why don't I get to flirt? Right. But wasn't it at one point an attempt to a little bit more than flirting? That what? one time when I was blackout drunk. Oh, is that what it was? I knocked on a door once. Tanner, Tanner, hey. Oh, baby. Mm. Oh, are you okay? Mm. Pajama party? Plug your, ears, Captain Lee. <laughs> Plug your ears, Captain Lee. Plug your ears, Captain Lee. Why are you making me do this in front of this? Print? My boss, it's so awkward. Uh, it was a area. It's okay. I'm going to go take a leak. Yeah. And then you can tell him whatever you like. <laughs> nothing huh? happened. I don't care. I'm nothing. There's nothing. I know, but I'm telling you nothing no, happened. No, I really have to go to the bathroom. Okay. I we do can... too. <laughs> We'll go, Is that we'll, all right? You go ahead. We'll go take a leak. We'll, I won't, uh -huh. we'll hear the rest of this. Oops, are you okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got to be better. It's got to be better than that. He's, we're just going to keep rolling mic. on this yeah. while he goes. Okay, so now that Lee's gone, you can tell us why you went for Tanner. He's good vibes. And he's, like, hot. He's cute. He's just a likable person. I don't know why I have to explain this. He's, like, super adorable. Mm -hmm. I think he's the most likable person on this crew, actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. But if he woke up... I'm so glad he didn't. <gasps> so rude! F wake me up! <laughs> yeah, Shake me! <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you guys broke protocol this season and fraternized with guests off the boat. If we want to invite those girls or not, we can. Oh, I can't do that, obviously. <laughs> work it, Molly, work it. <laughs> Brett and me with a good time. Should we invite them? Should we not? I don't want to cause shit amongst the crew if we invite them. Do you know what I mean? It's a bad idea that you just want to do. I don't think it's worth it. Too late. Honestly, it was just refreshing to have... I don't want to be condescending towards our girls, but it was just nice to have interaction with other people outside of the crew. I hadn't been coming right with anybody on the boat, not that I even, like I wanted to. You know, Courtney and Brian had hit it off. Things just didn't go well with Courtney and I from Abby the beginning. I wasn't into, you know, I wasn't into Simone. Abby left the boat. Kay wasn't having any of my kisses. Me and Molly just had some cool banter between each other. We had this chemistry. At the end of their charter, um, <laughs> Justine and Molly started messaging and um, they were keen to hang out with us, obviously off the boat. I guess you and Ash were the ones talking to them. No, 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 I was with Courtney then. Ashton was just talking to them. You were talking to them. <laughs> Don't bullshit. <laughs> Don't try and do this. Like, and yeah. Brian was texting Molly and pretending that he wasn't. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, what was, yeah. what was Brian saying to Molly? We don't know. But well, I, I, I sat down with Brian in the crew mess and he had been texting on his phone and I saw that he was texting Molly. Like, I just glanced over and I was like, whatever. And then we got to the bar and I was like, oh, Molly and Justine are here. Like, do you want to go say hi? And he was like, no. And I was like, what? Like, you were literally just texting her like two hours ago. Like, why don't you want to go say hi to her? And I, I was like drinking. I was like, I'm not thinking much of it. And then later I was talking to Justine and she's like, so what's going on? Like, what are the relationships on the boat? Blah, blah, blah. And Brian's over here at the bar. And all of a sudden- What did you say to Justine? Oh, did y'all see that? I didn't get a chance because uh, okay. Brian reaches over, grabs my arm, and pulls me away from the conversation with Justine. Truly, uh, rudely, we're mid-talk, and he's like, just grabs me and pulls me away because he didn't want it to come out that he had been texting Molly. Molly is, oh my God, Molly is Yeah, hot. Molly's pretty hot. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if I had a chance with Molly, 100%. Yeah. But yeah, but, but I was Courtney at the time, so like, I'm not the type of guy that would just, no, man, I would, I would never <laughs> no, do I that. Know, I know you would. He's not buying it. You're not buying it, Tanner. He's not no, buying it. No, I believe it. it. <laughs> He's been giving me shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he is, if he, like, if he was with Courtney and I know him, like, yeah. he would If I was single, it would be a whole yeah. different story. If he was single, he's single, yeah. but I know him well enough now that if, like, he's with someone, he's with someone. Yeah, man, I, just, yeah, I didn't want to hurt, I couldn't hurt Courtney like that. But, yeah, 100%, she's f***ing hot. <laughs> <laughs>
Have either of you seen Molly since we wrapped? No. I spent time with, yeah. Um, Tana and I spent time with Molly and Justine uh, for a few days after we filmed in Phuket. And uh, yeah, they stayed on in Thailand, eh? Like diehard fans. Yeah, they stayed for a few days. We spent a few days with them. What an awesome time we had with those two girls. It was really, really fun. We should probably go a little bit more upscale tonight. Yeah. Instagram chefs, they don't last long. She is a very good chef. She's cooked for me. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> when did she cook for you? I visited her in Charleston and stuff like that, so we had some fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. She cooked a nice little, oh, she cooked me the best. It's so simple, but she cooked me the best avocado toast and breakfast in bed. Fucking hell, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> so then you two hooked up? <laughs> She's a good chef. Kate, tell me about having a real housewife on board again, Alexis Bellino. What'd you think of, what do you think of Alexis? I don't really watch OC so much, but I know who Alexis is. But I know that when she was on the show, she was her husband. It was like, my husband, my marriage is everything. I love Jesus. They called her Jesus Jugs. It was like, me thinks thou does protest too much. Mm. So now she's here with her boyfriend. And this felt like the publicity tour. <laughs> I can't live without you! Thanks for getting us here. You're welcome. I love you. Get a girl, but it's a lot. Everyone was quite nice. I yeah. can't really remember who she was, but I remember like enjoying the charter based on how they treated us. They were but, great, yeah. But their demands, well, I think only really her. What are her demands? They, well, on the preference sheet, they were like, we're going to make you wish like we never came on board. And then they like sort of lived up to that. I was truly like, she was like a mimosa with a shot of vodka in it, and then she'd take one step and she'd be like, just kidding, a Bloody Mary, and then she'd be like, just kidding, a, like a vodka on the rocks, like just point. kidding, a margarita. And I'm like, you truly have a circle of drinks around you, mm. and then there's eight other guests that I now have to accommodate as well. It w I was totally fine, but I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> like, come get me. Simone, you actually got put on service for this charter. Kate mm. let you do service for it. Guess what, Simone? Yes, Kitty Boo Boo. It's very exciting. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna let you girls handle dinner service. You got this. Don't mess it up. Maybe you should want to serve Alexis. I don't know. They're the same kind of. They're reality people. I don't know. Or maybe she wants to give me a chance in service. Honestly, I don't know. I can't keep up. <laughs> I wish I was as calculated as everyone thinks I am. But this had nothing to do with the fact that I did not want to spend time with Alexis. These guests are the perfect ones for Simone to do service with because they're easygoing. Alexis is like focused on hooking up with her new boyfriend. She's not focused on high service. Mm -hmm. This was the first group of charter guests that I thought had low enough standards that Simone could practice her service with. So I was being nice. I love that line. I was being a good manager. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, this is Ashton and Ross from Below Deck. Click here to subscribe and click over here for more videos.